Like, how I many, your fourth time, fifth time playing here? This will be my fifth. Year. So you're my fifth, fifth time, time playing here, yeah. So what is it like coming back here to play? It's cool. It's surreal. You know, it's like I grew up in Loud City at the top, you know, mm -hmm. with the $15 tickets. Mm -hmm. And being able to come back is, uh, is always fun. So uh, it's, it's kind of like a dream come true. So you said 10 or 12 people. You'd like, tell me what type of family and friends are here. I mean, my whole family's from here. No, but no kids that are going to be here tonight. Uh, probably my parents, my sister, my niece and nephew, uh, probably a couple aunts, um, two of my best friends. Did you see anybody last night? Yeah, I went to my mom's house. I saw my niece and nephew, got to play with them. Uh, like my best friend from growing up came over and he kind of, we just kicked it and talked, but yeah, it was cool. Yeah. How many years have you been coming back to do camp stuff with the kids? Uh, three. Because you've done it for three years. Mm -hmm. How's that for you? Yeah, it's great. I love it. You know, I look forward to it every year. It's been getting bigger and like better every year. So uh, I'm excited for you guys to be able to see, see that this summer, you know, see like a behind the scenes and all that. But, you know, it's been great being able to give back to the community that I grew up in. My favorite thing, uh, just how laid back it is. You know, it's not super fast paced and uh, everybody doesn't appreciate that, but you know, I think it kind of molded my personality to how easy going and laid back I am. So I really, uh, that's probably my favorite thing about growing up. It's like the OPC vibe kind of fits but your vibe. Yeah. Your yeah, yeah, it's very fitting. Okay. And what about your whole family? Are they kind of like that as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's my whole family's pretty much like that. My mom is like very, she's military, so she's very like hard nosed. But you know, when she's not working on something, then she's she's real laid back. But once she gets to going on something, it's like tunnel vision. What was her reaction when she saw you last night? When you came over to her house? Uh, she was happy. Uh, actually, when I got home, nobody was there, so I was I just kind of had some food and I just kind of sat down, watched TV, took a little nap, <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody started walking in. They're like, hey. But uh, yeah, it was fun. You said you grew up in Lyle City. Did y'all have season tickets? No, 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 no. Like I would get my church would get some tickets, and I'd go like with the youth group. Mm -hmm. uh, like my dad would sometimes like take me and a couple of my friends. Well, what was the name of your church? Prospect Baptist Church. What has the transition been like? You talked about your camp. I think not long after that's when you got moved to Philly. Yeah, we see you right there. What's up? Yeah, man? What's up? What's, uh, what's that been like for you going uh, through that change from Miami to Philly and everything? It's been smooth. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but Philly's been very welcoming to me. And, uh, you know, it's a cool city. You know, it's, I think it's a, a cool city to get to know. It has a lot of, a lot of culture, a lot of uh, history to it. So I'm excited to keep, keep exploring that. Santa Fe Wolves are in the playoffs tonight at home football. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. With a message for them or anything? Good luck, man. Let's, uh, let's go get that ring. I know those Tulsa teams are tough every year, but I hope the, the Wolves can come out on top. Do you miss playing football? Yeah, I do. I don't miss the freezing cold weather, but I do miss playing. Like sometimes when I watch, I'm like, ah, oh, I would have caught that. Ah, oh, would have like. But you know, it's, it's everybody's opinion. But I do miss it a lot. Your sister played ball, right? Yeah. Did you guys were you guys competitive at all as kids on the court? Super competitive. Who, who was better? Who were you? Her. Her. She was better. She was like a top, the top recruit, and like all the regional area coming out of high school like she was junior olympics like her team won nationals like three years in a row by like 40 points like she was no she was she was really good so she pushed you a little bit then huh yeah a lot i didn't really start getting to beat her until i was like 14. <laughs>